So, what I gleaned from my practice last night, which was completely successful, but not exactly what I expected, and it usually is not, because <laughs> nothing is ever what we expect. I, um... was planning on much more releasing and allowing myself to go mad. Um, but it wasn't as grueling as I thought it was going to be. It just was. And I just found myself suddenly in balance with all of the forces that were running through me and suddenly they weren't having an effect on me like they were before. And then it was just this, you know, open, open uh, stillness and strength and a, a peace, you know. And suddenly I'm walking through life the next day like the sage I know I am. You know, I'm just kind of doing my thing and... <laughs> going to the gym and it's just chill and getting groceries and everything's cool and everything's fine it's uh it's strange because you know for the last three days or so i've just been oh, all these emotional reactions and whew, and just this feeling of an ickiness this thing that's just separating from me that i can't really identify but again the moon tends to bring out those yin energies or whatever, or at least expose them for us out of our bodies, our minds, our hearts, everything. And the earth reabsorbs them. Right? And if we're not if we're not constantly doing energy work, and for me I think the most important thing is the shaking practice and it's not just shaking it is you know seething allowing this stuff to just just come out and when we do that it's a sort of exhaustion you know that we exhaust these energies and then oh wow that that energy wasn't me why was i identifying with it why was i attaching to it why was it affecting me so strongly it's not me you know and then suddenly we're just left with ourselves and like, wow, I am a really chill, calm person who is cool with everything. <clears throat> the other thing that happens during my practice, of course, is mad amounts of light language. So I'm going to do a light language activation first to connect us to the earth and allow those energies and those currents that are messing us up right now to start to go down and to really harmonize with the earth specifically for this period of the full moon and you can usually think of three to four days up to the full moon as you're feeling its energies and three to four days after the full moon dealing with its energies um, and then a gradual tapering off of that I can't say that I came away with any particular information uh, that I didn't already know, just essentially that you are not your thoughts, you are not your emotions, you are not your emotional reactions to things, you know, your, your initial reactions to things, and you're not even your body, you know, you're not even the energy that moves through you, and you have that reaction, it's like, do I have to continue feeding it? No, I don't. I can I can let it go. You know, when I was younger, I used to have things and they would get stuck. These, you know, emotional reactions to things and it would be this energy and it would be stuck because it was so difficult for me to process stuff and it would, you know, shake and I wouldn't be able to think because of the things that were happening to me. Um, now it's like, it comes through and you have the experience and it's like, oh, awareness, let's breathe, take care of the body and all of that, and then it goes away. Okay, 
light language activation to uh, harmonize with the full moon energies. More specifically, we're starting with the earth. And this is not from any being in particular. This is just channeled through my highest self since I'm the one who had the experience um, balancing these energies out. So I really want to bring you that. And we're going to be dealing with Obsidian and Kandua at the same time, and possibly Lunar. But I might do a separate video for that. Relax, take deep breaths. Maybe have some water handy. I'm probably going to need lots of water after this one. Concentrate on sinking down, sinking down, sinking down. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Sandarabishukutun <laughs> Ya <laughs> Munukon <laughs> Yeah, Okay, let's start there and listen to that one several times. Um, and really focus on the earth or just sinking, 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 relaxing and letting go. <clears throat> and then when you feel you're ready to <clears throat> specifically balance with the moon, move on to the next one. 